and I found it by your side one and a half years ago um, when I experienced severe postnatal depression following the birth of my son. We work to support families in Coventry and Warwickshire who are experiencing mental illness either in pregnancy or in the postnatal period. We run a weekly stay and play in Warwick that any parent can come to if they're experiencing low mood, anxiety or any other mental illness. Um, it's a drop-in, free of charge, we reimburse bus fare for mums that otherwise wouldn't afford to be able to get there and we provide refreshments too, free of charge. We also offer one-to-one -one peer support for mums who need the extra support. Um, it's currently on a very, very small scale, but again, it's something we hope to be able to increase when we have the funds to do so because of the additional training, additional volunteer recruitment and things that it would entail. We help raise awareness of what perinatal mental illness is and we also fundraise for um, enhancements to our perinatal team so we've just recently funded some ipads for them to, so they can carry out treatment with mums experiencing bonding issues and that's something they wouldn't have been able to do if we hadn't have been able to fund the ipads and donate them to them um, because obviously it's not something that the nhs would fund we train local midwives and health visitors so that they are mindful of perinatal mental illness when they are seeing local families and helping local mums um, everything I do is alongside my job. Busy, I have a busy job, I have a child, but I do it because I don't want any mum to have to suffer like I did. And all my volunteers are exactly the same. They do it for the same reasons. They all work, they all have children. And we just want to make By Your Side um, be able to, so it can have as many mums as it can, we can. Um, I'm desperate to be able to increase the stay in place and be able to run on different days of the week in different locations so that every mum has one local to them and obviously I'd love to be able to expand the one to ones peer support so that more mums can access it and we can roll it out to everyone. Thank you so much for listening and I really hope you can support us. Hi. We are Helping Hands and we support families, the homeless and vulnerable adults in the local area of Warwick, Leamington and Kenilworth. We are probably best known for our soup kitchen, which provides the homeless and vulnerable adults with a hot meal and a place to meet up three nights a week. We also provide a lot of fam um, support for families in the local area. So the House to Home project supports local families who might have experienced um, homelessness, domestic violence, um, low income, um, people who generally have young families but might not have other support networks in place already. Um, many of these are newly homed and as a, uh, you might know council houses come completely empty, no carpet, um, no furniture, no ovens even. Um, so the House to Home project provides essential furniture, clothing and household goods um, to people in need, um, much of which are donated by the public. Um, and occasionally we do buy items ourselves that we might not have in storage, such as washing machines um, and ovens. Um, our motto at Helping Hands is a hand up, not a hand out. Um, so we're not just a furniture delivery service. Um, so we also offer um, emotional support that people might need, um, friendship, listening ears, um, just friendly faces basically when people need us. Um, we also offer volunteering opportunities, so if people have, um, have had support from us in house to home, we often invite them then to come and volunteer with us, um, which we believe is really good for people's mental health, um, being part of a team, um, and we can also give people qualifications in retail and barista skills through our cafe and shop. Um, we are funded entirely by donations from the public and so if we were to become your chosen um, charity we would use the money to buy, um, as Becca has mentioned, fridges, um, cookers, um, washing machines because they are always items that we really need and also welcome packs for when a family is moved into a new home with bedding, towels, um, all the bits and bobs that you need to set up home. So um, thank you for listening and um, happy voting. <laughs>